means what you come for. And that's sort of like for me is what it means about education in this country. It's how do you begin to look at what you have and who you try to integrate. Understanding who you're trying to educate in the community. Knowing the people in the community just as you know the ingredients and what each ingredient should taste like and feel like. One of the problems we have in education is that we don't know enough about the people who we're trying to educate. Today, teachers do not live in the same community as the students come from. So that's, therefore, there is a uh, separation here in terms of understanding the culture of the students. I mean, and the teachers got to have that culture to understand that. So communicating, you know, they having the right language to communicate the best of the knowledge that you have to students has become much more difficult in this area. So that gumbo, making sure that those ingredients in there right, understanding each piece is very, very important. But at the end of the day, just as in terms of educating the classroom, the classroom, teaching the students in the classroom, at the end of the day, the students coming out as whole, the students coming out with knowledge and understanding, and the same thing with that gumbo that comes out, you know every piece that's in there, and that the students and the gumbo together, it comes out being what we now call, what we kind of talk about here with this, we the people, which we're going to talk about a little bit later on that we will chart the country. So that's my recipe for my gumbo. Those ingredients in that gumbo are not ever going to be equal. So we're not fighting for equality anymore. We passed that. We're talking about quality. And it's like that gumbo good as equality gumbo. And our education system has to begin to deal with quality education that moves us here. Um, you know, I've had a long career in education and spent, as I say, most of it in Philadelphia. And um, when I was in Philadelphia, years, probably 20 odd years ago, uh, Lawrence Okunjuku was uh, one of the main speakers that we had to come and, um, and work with our, our new teachers on diversity and understanding the culture of, of our students. And uh, 25 years ago, his message was very strong that, that a white teacher could not teach, effectively teach, a black child. That was 25 years ago. When I met with him less than 12 years ago, um, more than 10 years ago, years ago, his message was modified somewhat. It was more, um, we make connections across racial lines if we have cultural sensitivity and cultural cross-cultural appreciation. And and that is where I think we are in, in terms of what we're trying to do with our educators in, in Charleston.